we have been uh, focusing most, most of our efforts on, uh, on the study of antibiotic resistant bacteria in the environment, mainly in, uh, in the urban water cycle. This is a topic that is very interesting for us because we were interested in the study of uh, microbial ecology in water. And uh, this is a very uh, emerging and very important emerging issue for public health and also for uh, environmental issues. And also because when we uh, talk about the urban water cycle, more and more we have to think about a circular economy logics. We can say wastewater that is treated and then is reused for other purposes. And here we have some problems that can emerge. And one of these uh, important problems is the emergence and spreading of antibiotic resistant bacteria. We are uh, very interested in the, in the bacterial diversity and uh, in the mechanisms that make the bacteria drive in certain environments. And uh, sometimes under selective pressures, sometimes when they work in collaboration with other bacteria in the environment, this is very interesting. So this is, I would say, the, the, the scientific basis of our uh, interests. But then we have also a very important focus on the public health and uh, environmental uh, health. Because this is uh, the problem of antibiotic resistance is nowadays regarded by the World Health Organization as one of the most uh, threatening problems, health problems for humanity nowadays. And uh, we believe that the environmental contamination is also part of this uh, problem and is also part of the solutions that we can find to solve this problem. So we are not only interested in study the spreading, but also how to control. For instance, how can we improve the wastewater treatment in order to control and to minimize the spread of these antibiotic resistant bacteria to the environment. So uh, we have also this applied uh, aim. And there is also another um, strand of our work that is uh, very important. And it is related with, uh, with policy making and with the concerns that uh, the authorities must have uh, regarding this form of contamination. So uh, we also want to have some messages and uh, we have made uh, some work and some publication in, in this respect because we, we aim also to have a very clear message that can be used by policymakers in order to make rules that can contribute to minimize the spread of antibiotic resistance in the environment and then the, the transmission to, to humans. Nowadays, we, uh, all of us, live in a, a, a very uh, clean environment every day. So our defenses, our contact with microorganisms is, is somehow is weakened because we, we don't have so many defenses as we had before. And so it is very important to, to understand the interaction of the human body with the microorganisms that occur in the environment because uh, somehow they can have very good opportunities to, to proliferate in our organism. So our most important and most uh, desired uh, aim here is to understand the transmission, the pathways and the exposure portals that we have for the transmission of microorganisms from the environment to humans. And uh, we want to understand these mechanisms at the genetic level, and also at the community level. So, uh, but this will be our major uh, goal in the next uh, years. This is a very challenging issue, but um, it's very interesting, both by the scientific and by the applied uh, research.